Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be the weekly review of the Power Profit Scan newsletter, which is a part of the Inner Circle subscription service that I offer, which you can see down here. The other part of it is a live chat room, but again, we're gonna focus here on the email newsletter that I send out uh, every week. When do I send it out? I send it out on Saturdays, and that way you have plenty of time to look things over. So it's not like you get a text message and then you have to go and rush and uh, make some sort of quick decision. You will have plenty of time to uh, look over things and then make that decision. The other common question I get about the newsletter is, hey Clay, what prices do you actually look at? And I don't care about prices. My main concern is all about, hey, what do I think the odds of success are? What do I think the probabilities are that this is gonna be a winning trade? So if that's a penny stock, so be it. If that's a stock up over $100, that's fine too, but I'm not gonna turn down what I think is a high probability opportunity because of the price. So as far as the prices are concerned, uh, there can be anything from, like I said, something below a dollar penny stock up to over $100. It just depends on whatever setups are out there that week. A few other things from a disclaimer perspective, I don't wanna come across or make it seem like, hey, everything I alert is always a winner. As great as that would be, nobody is perfect, no one is perfect. So yes, losing trades do happen, and if you followed this video series in the past, you've seen I've shown plenty of trades and alerts that just don't quite work out. But this is also why discipline and risk management is so important. Because yes, losing trades do happen, but on the flip side of that, winning trades also happen. So when you have yourself in that situation where you're managing risk and controlling risk, when those winning trades do come along, that's how overall account growth is going to happen. So it's always a good learning lesson to keep in mind that yeah, nobody is perfect, so therefore just be good at managing that risk and let the winners take care of everything else. And then finally, we're gonna go back and look at the week of August 27th. I get it, why are you going so far back? Two questions, or two reasons because that is a very good question. First off, it's just simply giving the chart plenty of time to play out so that we can see what's actually happened with the stock. And then second, it's a matter of being fair. This is a, a service that uh, you know you need to pay to join. So the last thing I would want is for somebody to join something and then all of a sudden see you know that, that information you know out there for free online. So I'm sure you understand that. So with all that being said, let's get started. I like to do this just to establish context here. So I'm at bankrate.com and I just wanna look at what some of the current uh, you know, CD rates are available out there. CD representing a certificate of deposit. So looking through here, you can see that you know this is the, you know, the, the general opportunities that are out there. But let's just go with, uh, we'll try to take the highest. So right here, 2.35% in one year. So again, just keep that in mind. You can get a, a return on your money of 2.35% but you, the, the, the catch being you have to you know let your money sit there for an entire year. So just keep that in mind, 2.35% one year. First alert we're gonna look at here is for ticker symbol DNR, and as you see up here, just question whether or not some sort of bounce would occur. So it had started to pull back, so the, the question was just simply, you know, was this gonna pull back enough where it got down to this area of support and then bounce back upwards? And you, know, you can see the, the more detailed description right there, but let's see how this one played out. Once again, these are all sent out over the weekend, so this is you know the next candlestick you'll see here, as they're called, is what would be the, the, the first trading day of the new week. So you can see right there, actually begins to go sideways, slight little pullback there, and then from that point, pulled back again, and then up it went for, uh, quite frankly, a very, very impressive move. Problem is, it just never pulled back enough, and you know what, sometimes that happens, uh, where you have a trade plan, and, and sure, it's not a losing trade, or anything of that nature, but it's not, it's also, it's not a winning trade either. You, you just don't get in and that, that happens and that's what happened here. And uh, you know, kind of the salt in the wounds was you can, you can play the what if game. Well, ah, if, I, if I'd have just done that, I mean, that was a very nice bounce. It definitely, uh, you know, turned around in, in a big way. But as far as, you know, this situation is concerned, it just didn't quite work out the way I had it mapped out, but you know, it is what it is, it happens and uh, you just gotta move on from it. Next alert here to take a look at was XXII. Then up here you can see again the category, you know, was there some sort of breakout coming? So it mapped out this area right here around $2. Price has been showing some signs of life here. So let's see if the, the break occurred or not. So let's see how it all began. You can see there it's still just hovering right below that key breakout point. Still hovering below right there did break above it, slight little pullback there and started to show signs of life again. And then price really showed some nice movement and came to life there and got the big breakout move right there. So that move was good for a total potential movement of 23%. Now I'm not saying anybody played it perfectly and, and scored 23% exactly, but I mean, as always, what I like to do is, let's say you screwed up half the trade. So you messed up half the trade. Literally you're like, oh wow, that was not very good. I screwed it up, you know, 
basically as bad as you can get it. That would still have been right around an 11% win, give or take, 11.5%. So an 11.5%, and we'll call this about three weeks. So think back to those CD rates, 11.5% in three weeks or 2.3% in one year. I mean, I can only speak for myself, but uh, you know, 11, 11.5% in a, a few weeks, much better than just 2%, 2.5% in an entire year. So overall, a nice breakout trade. Next alert was on MAT, Mattel. And as you see up here, was there gonna be some sort of fake breakdown? So the key concept here is being fake, meaning yeah, the, the price is breaking down, yeah, the price is broken through that green line, but is this actually true or is this just some kind of faulty breakdown? So the idea here is, as I talked about here, what I call it, the green zone. So I mapped out this area on the chart and said, you know what, might be worth watching some sort of fake break, so let's see if the price got down there and then turned itself around. So here is the, the chart at the beginning of the week. There's that green zone down there. Let's, so let's see if this was a fake break or if this was the start of something much bigger. So you can see the price did pull back some more right into that green zone, it started to go sideways and then got a bounce right there, slight little pullback. And then the bounce very, very nicely continued with a big follow through there. And even that much more of a follow through, so an absolutely beautiful bounce which equated to a total percent move of 29.6%. Again, not saying anybody played it perfectly, but if you screwed up half the trade, that's still basically right around a 15% move in a few weeks. So 15% in a few weeks or 2.35% for one year. I know which I would take, but overall, a very, very nice fake breakdown and a snapback bounce to the upside. Um, and you know this was MAT, so plenty of liquidity out there for everybody and uh, definitely a, a nice solid winner. Let's now take a look at OPTT. This was a pullback play. Basically called out how there had been a gap and trap on this day and now it just became a question of, you know, is this gap and trap gonna lead to more panic? So let's see if this thing pulled back slightly more. So first day of the new week, you can see the pullback did indeed continue. Pulled back some more and got right around that zone of the green line. Never got anything too nasty where the price just, you know, can totally collapse or anything like that. So it just went, Blow it, but then held steady very nicely. Hammer candle right there, and then all of a sudden, price started to come back to life. A little bit more consolidating, and then you can see there, the life really returned, and up it went to that point, and that was a total percent move of 34.7%. So again, let's say you screwed up half the trade. That's 17% in once more, a matter of a few weeks. So 17% in a few weeks, or 2.35% for one year. Uh, I know which sounds uh, good to me, but definitely another very, very nice winner for members. Next alert to take a look at here was TELL, another pullback play. And as I noted here, I mean, this was just a crazy, crazy move to the upside. However, all of a sudden that nasty red candle showed up. So it was a situation where can this pull back a little bit more? Can some panic set in and creating a good little, uh, you know, risk versus reward entry point down there around 650. So let's see how this one played out. So first day of the new week, the pullback continued, continued some more, dropped down there, and then bounced very, very nicely off that 650 range. Price spent a little bit more time down there, hovered right there around 650 before the life started to return. And right there is where uh, you know the, the big movement occurred, that much more, and the price, slight little consolidation before another move back to the upside and just continue to grind before finally pulling back, but that entire movement was good for 39.4%. So again, you know, we'll call it right there at about 19%. So 19% assuming you screwed up half the trade. So 19% for a few weeks, or hopefully you kind of get in the theme here, 2.35% for one year. So very, very nice mover, and uh, another one where uh, you know, members had a, a huge profit opportunity. Like I said, that 19% that is based on you screwing up half the trade. I'm being more than realistic to even say that people could have gotten 30% out of it or 35%. So I mean 30, 35% in a few weeks or 2.35% for one year. The final part of the newsletter that I send out is for people that have gone through uh, some of my classes that I offer. So this situation or this situation uh, is trampoline trade, not situation, this class is called trampoline trading. So for these, all I do is give out the ticker symbols because I don't need to map out anything because these people are armed with knowledge. So they just go, they look at the chart and they know how to make the decisions. They know how to put everything together on their own. Um, so I always use the analogy, it's kind of like if you're fishing, I just kind of point, hey, there may be some fish over there in that area of the pond, but then those people know how to go over there, cast a line, bait the hook, and all of that, 
all on their own. I'm just kind of assisting in the sense of, hey, this may be worth keeping an eye on. So let's see how, actually, I'll, you know, spoiler alert, all three of these were very nice winners. I'm not even gonna look at that one just because for time's sake, I don't want this video to be too long. So we'll just look at BBBY and TXMD. So we'll see how this one played out here. A little bit more consolidation. Then came to life there on nice volume. Consolidated a little bit more before getting the break of that 50 period. And then it just started to grind higher and higher. And that movement in just once again, a couple weeks, good for 29.8%. So you get the theme here. If you screwed up half the trade, I won't uh, go, but just you get the idea. So another very, very nice mover for members that went through the class. And then the next one we'll look at here, TXMD. So we'll see how this one played out here. A little bit of consolidation, nothing crazy, just sideways price movement. Then some strength started to return as the price moved upwards. Slightly more consolidation. And then right there is where things really got interesting and the breakout got very, very well and nicely underway. And that movement right there before, it finally did start to pull back right there. Good for 50%. For 50% in just a few weeks, but probably that one's probably more about a, a month, right around, give or take. So, and again, we'll say you screwed up half the trade, 25%, but I mean, again, 30, 35, even 40%, that's still being very realistic. 40% for one month or 2.35% for one year. And I bring that up because I get it. Some people, uh, they only post like 100, 200% wins and all this. And I mean, don't get me wrong, those do happen. And in fact, I've done it on, on this video series here, but sometimes it almost takes away from the fact of, wait a second, let's keep things in perspective here. I mean, one of the alternatives out there to trading and all this is literally 2.5, 2.35% in one year, but here you can see much bigger gains than that. So overall, a very, very, very solid week for all members. So if you would like to join, then all you gotta do is go to claytrader.com forward slash team and you can get all the uh, more details and information there. But overall, really the main question you need to ask yourself is do I believe the service can make me more than $8.25 per, not day, but per week? Because that's how this pricing breaks down there, the $99 for three months. Uh, per week, you'll break even if you think the service can make you more and like I said, $8.25 per week. So if you think it can do that, then you will definitely get a great return on your investment. Besides just the newsletter, there is also a live chat room uh, where I'm very active in. So there's the newsletter, there's a live chat room, and there's a, a mobile app that comes with everything too. So it's not like you have to stay change your computer or anything like that. You can stay in touch no matter where you are. So definitely check it out. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section or reach out to me on social media or email or what have you, and I would be more than uh, happy to answer any questions you have. But if, not, if you don't have any questions, then go get signed up and I'll see you on the inside.